Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Kang, Vision Researcher in Kakao Enterprise. Today I will be presenting our work on efficient skeleton-based action recognition via joint mapping strategies. Skeleton-based action recognition uses skeleton data, which can be represented as a vector sequence of 2D or 3D coordinates to recognize action classes. It can be obtained from motion capture device or pose estimation models. Graph Convolutional Network, GCN, mostly used in skeleton-based action recognition, consists of GCTC blocks that is alternating between GC and TC. GC can be divided into two steps, feature embedding and application of joint connections. First, one-by-one -one convolution transforms joint representation X into higher dimensional feature X dot. Second, topology A hat reflects a connection of joints in a feature space of X dot. TC uses a KT-sized 1D kernel striding along time axis for temporal encoding of each joint. Topology A represents connections of nodes in graphs, which can be a normalized form of adjacent symmetrics or its variations. GCN for action recognition uses topology that reflects the connections of human joints. Recent GCNs utilize topology A independently for each layer and make it trainable to have different semantics of features in different layers. Our work has arisen from the question of whether whole joints are necessary for recognizing human actions. To reflect the hierarchical traits, most of the CNNs for classification tasks typically compress representation into low spatial dimension. But GCNs generally keep the number of joints throughout layers. In this work, we introduced two types of joint mapping modules for GCN to reduce the number of nodes in the middle of the layers. This is our proposed pipeline and it can be divided into three steps. At step one, a few GCTC blocks process joint coordinates into J-sized joint feature. At step two, the proposed joint mapping modules decrease the number of joints from J to J prime, which is our main contribution of this paper. We introduce two types of joint mapping modules. MM module consists of three cross attention blocks, namely arm, leg, and body encoders. Each encoder processes corresponding joints to yield a single node feature. First, MM module divides joints into five parts, such as two arms, two legs, and main body. On each encoder, a simple cross-attention module is applied to transfer information from original joint space to the decreased one. Then, X' prime is pulled along joint axis and added to the output of cross-attention to yield one-dimensional output. Lastly, 1D vector processed on each encoder are concatenated on joint axis to yield reduced joint feature X double prime. AM module try to map the joint features to a lower dimensional space without using any prior knowledge. That is, we try to train a mapping matrix MG, which has the size of J times J prime, to reduce joint space. Whole process of the AM is almost the same with the MM module, except that the joint features are multiplied with the MG. At the last step, we employ a single 2D convolutional layer with J-prime sized kernel to perform a cross correlation between J-prime nodes before classification. We observe that placing the joint mapping modules at six layer shows the best research and they bring performance improvements with negligible latency overhead. Compared with recent works, our proposed models achieve better research in terms of latency and accuracy. Thank you for listening.